Hey guys, it's Andy McCann, one of the owners here at CrossFit Garage, where routine is the enemy and competition is king. So I will scroll through the workouts so you can see them right quick, and then I'll explain them. So all, all of those who just want to see exactly what we're doing, there you go. You can jump off this video. For the rest of you guys who would like to know why we do, do what we do, here it goes. So there's one aspect of CrossFit that is paramount. We talked about it in the last video. That is intensity. So we want to sort of migrate that intensity from either a lift or the sweaty bit. You don't necessarily want to have two intense parts back to back, though some of us can handle that. So we try to kind of like modulate that a bit. Now, we also know that there's no better way to for the coaches to watch your form and correct you than to lift slowly. So we always have a lift, or not always, but we have a lift in there. For that reason, we are following Ripito's, uh, Mark Ripito's starting strength scheme, which is a 3 by 5 for the most part. We have it highly modified because we have too much volume with CrossFit. But here we go on Monday, 13-minute AMRAP. That stands for as many rounds as possible. You will do 13 thrusters at 55% of your one rep max and then 13 burpee pull-ups. So you'll do a burpee and then jump up and grab the bar for a pull-up. You can scale the pull-ups to ring rows and still stay RX. And the ring rows, you'd be doing 26, but you'd only be doing 13 burpees. So don't do too many. What I would suggest you do, since rings can be limited, is do all your burpees and then come over and do your ring rows. So you do not have to do a burpee and then a ring row. Just get one done and then the other. That way we keep the rings open for everybody. RX Plus, you have a little heavier weight at 65%. And then doing burpee chest-to-bar pull-ups a whole lot harder unless you can jump a bunch. You can also scale that down and do 26 pull-ups instead of a chest or bar pull-up. So you would do a burpee and then two pull-ups, or you can break it up if you need to, but make sure you're getting 13 total burpees in and then the appropriate number of pull-ups. Then we move on to the back squat. Many things can happen to you when you do a back squat, and most of them are good. So listen to your coach. Go to full depth. Even if you think you are at full depth, make sure one of your buddies that are there check you or have the coach check you. You will do a lot for your body by getting to the right range of motion. So make sure the coach is watching you. I would rather you go to a full range of motion, so hips below knees than, or at parallel, than trying to do too much weight. So take off weight and go to the right place and that'll be better for you. If you have time, we're gonna go into some double under work. We'll be doing a lot of that um, the next few weeks so that we can get our double unders back and have them in workouts. Then we have another AMRAP. I like the AMRAPs. The reason for that is it gives us that time domain that CrossFit likes, the 8 to 15-ish to minutes. So really their sweet zone is the uh, 8 to 12. So we have some that are shorter and some that are longer. And they want you to learn to push through that. So this gives everyone the same push rather than Griffin doing this workout and finishing in five minutes and me taking 10 and it being a totally different experience. This gives him a tough workout, especially since there's a percent lift here rather than just a number. So that percent is going to be tough for you. Remember, when you do these percent lists, if you did, I don't know, let's say you do three rounds and you did all nine jerks at um, so you did you know, round one, you did nine jerks continuous, and then two, same thing, and three, same thing. You would come down here to this um, jerk, either the push jerk or split jerk, whichever one you picked, and write in there three by nine at that weight. And that'll help um, Wattify create a better number for you later on, especially if you're new to this. Um, putting in the numbers down here will really influence your percents in the workout. So we got jerks. You can choose your um, style, either a push jerk or split jerk, and the coaches will work with you on that air squats, and then a 200 meter run, RX a little bit heavier, goblet squats, still the same sort of run. Then we're moving into the floor press, continuing with a press Tuesday, so it's either strict or shoulder or military press, whatever you call that when you're just lifting it above your head, and then you have bench press and floor press. These guys, remember, just for reference, you can add in your numbers later. Eight minute AMRAP. This one is a fast mover, so it's eight minutes, and you should be moving continuously. If there is a rest, it's going to be here in the lunge or the sit-up just simply because you can't move fast enough. Try to nail all 10 push-ups without stopping. Try to do this whole workout. If you've been doing this for about six months, here's the time to step it up. 
Try to do everything without stopping. Move, 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 move. There's only eight minutes. None of these movements are going to be completely taxing to you like, oh, no, it's 400 push-ups at one time. You should be able to get through that. RX Plus gets a little heavy with um, uh, using two kettlebells, one on each side for your lunge, GHD sit-ups, and handstand push-ups. Notice the rep scheme drop so that you should be able to move through this. Kipping handstand push-ups are totally allowed, so kip away. Remember on the GHD sit-up, it is a quad explosion more than it is a ab crunch. So try to learn that, get the coach to show you. Deadlift, the intensity part of today is really in this deadlift. This is a fast mover. I don't expect you to be like, oh, my muscles are killing me. You will be tired, but the intensity is really here in the deadlift. Deadlift, you'll be able to move up a lot of weight, still hitting your three by five. If you have time, the coach is going to show you how to do a back extension. Do three sets. It doesn't really matter the number. I want you to go slow with proper technique. Next is a four time. Don't usually have these because it becomes a variable on when you can end. Um, plus, there's double unders in it, which makes it crazy for some people. So you could do double unders or single unders, and then there's a kettlebell swing. You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth till you finish it. RX Plus gets a little heavier. Spend the rest of the time working on this overhead squat. You should have done the one rep max um, la or I guess, yeah, last week, Thursday for a snatch. Most of you probably got caught in that overhead squat position. So really work on this. Fight for that height or that depth and um, ask the coach for specific homeworks that you can do. Either, you know, coming to the gym, you warm up and you do your piece or you do it at home. So squat therapy is a good one, but it could be something specific like your knees are turning in or out or your um, ankles too far spread or something. So ask the coach, make sure you can figure out what's happening in your overhead squat. Lastly, another longer workout with some rope climbs. So we got uh, 15 minutes, 800 meter row, and then jump off the rower, either do 10 pull-ups or one rope climb and jump back on the rower. RX Plus, you have two movements after the row. So you're going to rope climb twice and then either do two muscle-ups or four bar muscle-ups or eight Chester bar pull-ups. Take your pick. Uh, the scoring is done in meters only. So just keep, you know, I guess get on your rower, stay on your rower and keep it moving. Note the rower will try to reset itself after about two minutes. So if you're not fast enough to get back there, and I think maybe it's four minutes, you'll have to check. But um, if you're not fast enough to get those rope climbs or the muscle ups or etc. in, and you're going to stand around for a while, you need to remember how far you went and bring a, um, a uh, whiteboard and write down your distance so when it turns itself off you don't lose it or you can you know if you get a rest between these two you can pull the rope a few times and keep it alive after that you'll work on your clean and jerk if you miss the jerk but you made a clean and it was a sweet PR then go ahead and enter it down here but the focus is clean and jerk this right here is just for an extra